A later visitor was King Hussein of Jordan, the first chief of state President Ford has received at the White House. The talk was about the Middle East and the prospects for peace. President Ford wants federal spending cut, but he also wants a strong defense establishment. Today, the Navy awarded Lockheed a contract for $1,300,000,000 for a new nuclear missile for the Trident and other nuclear submarines. The president also continued his search for a new vice president today, going all over all the suggestions which have been made to him. Ron Nesson has more on Mr. Ford's impending decision. President Ford slipped away to a small private office next to the Oval Office to ponder his choice for vice president. Mr. Ford is studying recommendations sent in at his request by 600 leading Republicans. Nelson Rockefeller and George Bush received far more votes than anyone else. The president realizes their supporters are waging organized campaigns. Next in the balloting, far back are Goldwater and Reagan, not considered real possibilities. Then Melvin Laird, followed by Elliot Richardson. Dark horse contenders who receive some votes and are in the running for vice president include Donald Rumsfeld, Tennessee Senators Baker and Brock, and Governors Evans of Washington and Ray of Iowa. The president is believed to have ruled out Democrats, women, and blacks. He wants a man fit to assume the presidency if necessary. Mr. Ford has virtually decided to run in 1976, so he wants a vice president young enough to be a candidate for the White House in 1980. Mr. Ford wants a good Republican campaigner, since he plans a less partisan role for himself. And he wants a compatible vice president who will not overshadow or undercut him. The president wants a man a little to his left politically. The decision is taking longer than expected. Mr. Ford now hopes to announce his choice for vice president next Tuesday or Wednesday. Ron Nesson, NBC News, Washington.